Hi, it's Sam Tobert, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're on to our next gospel piano tutorial. The selection, Don't Cry, by Craig Franklin in the key of D flat. Let's get after it. Our scales. And back down. So I went back over the song again just to see what, how I could simplify it so that I don't give you the exact chords. As you know, YouTube loves to track me when, I keep, when I'm too accurate with my chords. So it's going to start, you might say, in the, t in the two. To the four. And uh, back to the one, but a change. To the four. Now here's a very important chord. The seven. You're going to walk down to the three. Now, you can go different ways here, but I'm watching the song. But they use a full chord. They use this chord also to bring you to. Taking my time to slow it down so I don't, I can, don't affect the, the algorithm. Back to the two, right? Second note, the E flat, to the A flat. To the one, but with a minus six. And resolve to the four this chord and walk it down from the A flat to the three major now they go to this chord and then resolve to Watch these chords. So it is a revolving cycle. Two, five, one, four, seven, three, six. And then walk the six back up to the two. But now go with a major. So for those who do count the number system, Two, five, one, four, six, three. Did I say six? Seven, three, six. Let's give you those chords again on the top. Start it starts off high. Two, five, and you're going to get this chain. Four, seven, going to walk it down. Three, the first time round. And it just repeats. And now we're going to give you this chord. And then walk it up again. Sorry. So that's the pattern. It's scale worthy. Some of the uh, diminished chords take you out of the scale, but that's why I say you know you should know what every chord sounds. Now, if you want to go full chords,
it just resolves. And it's just a continuous cycle starting high and then you can come down low stay low go middle go high and walk it down high and middle and do the walk up So I'm trying to get away that you can actually practice this without me really sounding too much like the album. But I've given you 90% of the chords. There's a lot of movement that they're doing. But when you listen to the, the actual uh, video of it, you will hear the different movement. You, you hear that. See, when you've got the number system, you see the chords that are being posted, you see where you're really just following a pattern and you just stay within that pattern as you listen to the song. Now, of course, will you sound, will you sound exactly like the album? I don't, because the actual timing of it, it's, um, it's an actual studio recording. But you know where it's going to start. Pick one. I'm messing with the YouTube algorithm so they don't come after me. But that's all it is. And of course, I often say you always want to be able to experiment. lesson on Don't Cry. See you on the next video.